college football news. Like, subscribe, and share for all the latest breaking college football news after a long, boring off season. The college football season is less than five weeks away, and the two-time defending Big Ten champions, Michigan Wolverines and the Fighting Jim Harbaugh's, looking to win that elusive first national championship coming off of a devastating, embarrassing loss in the college football Fiesta Bowl playoffs last year. Uh, coming back with a team that's loaded, a top three team preseason, but their head football coach, the Fighting Jim Harbaugh, it looks like he's going to get a four-game suspension after he lied to the NCAA. The school and the NCAA must finalize the deal, but sources tell I'm live that the Michigan has submitted its request for a negotiated resolution to the NCAA committees of infractions. A report from the committee, which has the authority to accept, reject, or adjust the penalty, is expected to come in in the next 30 days. Harbaugh is alleged to have misled investigators and made false statements to the NCAA officials during a probe of rules violations within the Michigan program in 2021. Amongst the McDeeds, the NCAA uh, alleges contact with recruits during the COVID dead period and improper contact with players on teams during workouts and non-practice time, both level two violations. Funny enough that the SEC, a league like Alabama, LSU, Florida, uh, Florida states in the ACC, uh, Georgia, have had multiple uh, violations. And we all know they've paid players before the NIL deal, multi-million dollar payrolls. And the SEC, you're allowed to look the other way. Schools like the Ohio State University, they're allowed to have shenanigans go on. But God forbid the Michigan Wolverines in a season that they're stacked, loaded, and ready to win their first national championship in nearly a quarter century since the 1997 season. They're going to slap Jim Harbaugh and try to beat down and knock down uh, the Fighting Wolverines from Michigan uh, and give this man a four-game suspension for nonsense, right? When all this other bullshit, like look at what happened in Tennessee just now. They're able to pay an $8 million fine, avoid forfeiting a season this year of bowl eligibility, uh, and they get scholarships reduced for, I don't know, 100 major violations that they had, but they're in the SEC, so we know they're allowed to play by different rules, and it's another uh, sham and another farce by the corrupt uh, and criminals in the NCAA the way they bring down infractions on schools that are outside the SEC. But the Fighting Wolverines will bounce back from this. I believe they'll go undefeated again in the regular season, win the Big Ten Championship game, and I'm predicting a national championship is going to go through Ann Arbor this year. But Jim Harbaugh, the 59-year-old coach who acknowledged the NCAA's investigation into the probe, is set to appear at Big Ten Media Day in Indianapolis this coming up Thursday. A Michigan spokesman declined comment. If everything goes according to plan, Harbaugh will miss the Wolverine season opener against East Carolina. I could coach them to a victory. UNLV, University of Nevada. Uh, I could coach them to a victory over them. Bowling Green and the Big Ten opener, the bottom feeder Rutgers. It's not really going to matter in those games, but it's still something that's going to cause at least some problems as he will not be able to coach, practice, or probably do anything else with the team after uh, the season starts. And we do know the Michigan Wolverines have a loaded offense coming back with first-team All-American in the Big Ten, J.J. McCarthy, the best quarterback in the Big Ten, behind uh, um, wide receivers, All-American and Heisman candidates, Blake Corm and Donovan Edwards, Roman Wilson, uh, Cornelius Johnson, and Coaston Loveland uh, round out a phenomenal wide receiving core that are going to be up and coming. And uh, the Coaston Loveland, a tight end, one of the better tight ends in the Big Ten, with the best offensive line in the country, as Keegan didn't go pro, uh, Zenner, Henderson, Nugget, and Hinton all uh, will round out right guard, right tackle, center, left guard, and left tackle are going to be the best offensive line in the country. They're all sub 320 pounds or greater than 320 pounds, 6'5", 6'6", grown men protecting J.J. McCarthy, as I'm predicting a great season from the Michigan Wolverines, and I think they are going to win the Big Ten for the third straight year, beat Ohio State for the third straight year, play in the Big Ten championship game, and pound any team that comes out of the West. And this team has a mission. This team has one goal, and that goal is with a loaded team, a seasoned veteran team, a very deep team at offensive line, defensive line, running back, the best safety or one of the best safeties in the country and the best safety in the Big Ten. Um, 
and uh, what's his name, Johnson or Jackson, I forget what his name is, the true freshman last year. Uh, it's been a long time since uh, we've watched them play, but they're going to be loaded, stacked, and ready to go. They're just going to have to come through some adversity to start the season as the NCAA tries to uh, knock down the Michigan Wolverines, but Jim Harbaugh and that offensive staff and that training staff, that offensive and defensive line, along with an explosive offense and the best running back stable in the country, will go 13-0, win the Big Ten, and compete and win that elusive national championship. We'll give a top uh, Vincenzo's top 10 to start the season here as we grind our way in and start to make more videos working our way in to the college football season.